You know what I was watching the other day? I was watching uh, The Legend of Tarzan. What fun little movie that is. I'm pretty sure you play like a young Margot Robbie's character in that. I worked on it, yeah. They, um, it was kind of like they m m combined my face and Margot's face to... I was basically a body double that involved a lot of CGI. I really just wanted to work on that production and work with the people that I did. And I remember seeing that and going, wow, she looks so much like Margot Robbie. No, they've sort of CGI'd it. It's actually pretty crazy if you, well, it's if pretty you cool. watch it. It's a cool little movie. Uh, it's but great, the journey yeah, from cool. there to here, you're like leading one of the most anticipated shows of the year with one of the most kind of beloved showrunners in Jonah Nolan and one of the most beloved games of all time on Prime Video. You must be buzzing your face off right now. I mean, this is, this is like catnip for actors, surely. Yeah, I, I am, in your words, buzzing my face off. You might not be able to tell, but this is my face being buzzed off right now. It is um, crazy and, and really um, a pinch me moment, I think. I, I, I sort of can't believe I'm here and all of this and it's incredible and yeah, it, I can't believe it. Speaking to Aaron, he was saying that uh, out of the two of you, you were the bigger gamer. You were more into the game than him. Jonah himself, he played a lot of it. He's, yeah, big Was that the a game. complete waste of time or did that feel like you no. were kind of prepping for the it show? It wasn't a waste of time way. at all. I, I wanted to get the absolute most out of this experience and I think you have to deeply, deeply respect the source material, um, at least for me. And I love to throw myself into all of my research, but this was so fun. There's so much lore and so much passion behind the games and so many details and it made it even more exciting when I put the Volt suit on or the Pip-Boy for the first time. Like that moment was not lost on me, what a big deal that was. Um, so no, it wasn't a waste of time. And a lot of games like this, this seems like they were kind of unfilmable a few years ago, but since kind of Game of Thrones, everything seems to be able to be created. If you can imagine it, it can be made. But what, for people who haven't played the game, aren't familiar with it, you know, what kind of vibe are we to expect from this? What are we expecting? Um, I would say, most of all, first and foremost, the, the, the most uh, notable, <laughs> noticeable thing about Fallout is the tone. It's the comedy, balancing the light and the dark, how absurd it is. Yes, it's deeply devastating, it's post-apocalyptic, it's satirical and political, but it's also ridiculous and really funny and, and tongue-in-cheek and smart.